Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and we got an empties video. So I haven't done one of these in I think four months was the last time I filmed my last empties video. I've got tons of skincare, body care, a couple of pieces of makeup-ish items. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you what's in my trash can. How about that? So if this is your first time watching, I'd love to say thank you for clicking on my video and taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you are a returning subscriber, I'd love to say thank you so much for your constant love and support. I always appreciate you and I always appreciate you constantly supporting my channel. And if you are a first time viewer, definitely join the family, subscribe to the channel. I think you'd enjoy it here. So let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna just go through my trash can in any order. No particular order here. So first we have the Cora's Wild Rose Foaming Cleanser. I bought this actually during the Ter Sephora VIB sale and I liked this cleanser, but I think it became a little too drying for my skin. It smells really good, it smells nice and fresh. Um, and I really think it did a really great job of cleaning my face and getting rid of any like makeup residue that I had or anything like that. But I want to say about halfway through the bottle, I felt like it was a bit too stripping for my skin. And it might have just been because it was winter time, so the air is more dry. Um, and so I, I, I definitely used it up. But I don't know if I would repurchase that. But if you have more oily skin, I think you actually would really enjoy that. Next we have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Love this. I love using this after I'm done my makeup to just mesh all of my powders together and just leaves a really nice glow. I don't want to say glow like it's too dewy, but your, but your face definitely looks more radiant um, and way less powdery. Already bought another one, so highly recommend that one. Then we have this Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Primer. So I raved about this, I want to say in my May favorites. Really, really enjoyed using this serum. So it has hyaluronic acid, acai and blueberry fruit extracts. And so it's supposed to leave your skin with a luminous finish. It's supposed to refresh your skin, hydrate your skin, and it's for all skin types. And I firmly agree that this leaves your skin looking so nice, luminous, plump, all of the things. But it looks like I still have more product in here and that's because I do. But the thing is, this stopper, so like you're supposed to press it into the bottle, press down on here, and then soak up more of the product. But there's no way to get the rest of this out. I mean, I guess I could try to dump this out but there's not a lot of product in it left. So that's my biggest gripe with this. I believe this is $18, so I will purchase this again when it goes on sale because that's when I got it the first time. It was half off, and I was like, okay, let me try it. And I really, really recommend it. Um, I'll wait till it goes on sale though. Then we have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. Loved this. This 3-in-1 primer is supposed to prep, set, and refresh your face. And I used it to set and refresh. So I would use this commonly after I was done my makeup to just mesh all my powders together. And I think it did such an excellent job. And it's like $5, maybe even a little less at Walmart. Amazing. Next we have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm. And this was really good. So if you're not sure or you're not familiar with their Hydro Boost line, all comes with hyaluronic acid, so it's very plumping, nourishing for the skin. It helps the skin look very vibrant. I have like a little bit left in here, but it's a very soft formula because it is whipped. So think of like whipped cream. Like it doesn't feel literally like whipped cream, but that whipped texture, that's t the texture of this body balm. I really enjoyed using it and I think, and I had the one for dry to extra dry skin. So I think that it did a really good job of moisturizing my skin. Now for me, for some reason, the skin on my legs is like scaly dry. I have no clue why. So this I would recommend using for people who have really dry skin in the summer because I feel like in the summer my skin's not as dry obviously because it's the summertime I'm sweating more I wouldn't use this in the winter because it wouldn't be enough hydration for me but in the summertime that's what that's a really good one then we have a hydro boost water gel facial moisturizer so I wanted to try a sample of this and I really did enjoy it I um 
it was it went on the skin very well blended into the skin really good um, I could put this on and then immediately start doing my skincare I mean my makeup and I wouldn't have any issues with makeup looking funny underneath it and things like that so I would recommend this facial moisturizer if you're looking for a moisturizer that's light if you also have combination oily skin, I think this will be a great moisturizer for you as well because it's not going to add excessive oils to the face. It's not going to make your face look extra dewy or anything like that, um, but it works really well. The reason why I didn't buy this in full size is because I wanted a moisturizer with SPF and that doesn't come with SPF. Um, but I honestly would repurchase that, especially if they added SPF to it if they could. I'm not sure if they can, but if they could, I would definitely repurchase that. Now we have the Tatcha Polished, Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. And I received this in a Tatcha sample set where I got the um, Tatcha spray and it was another product. And I really, really liked this. So this is going to be a skin exfoliator, but you're using rice enzyme powder to exfoliate your face. So you pour the rice into the palm of your hand, add just a touch of water, and then you go to exfoliate your face, blend it into the skin. And it's such a fine and gentle exfoliator. So if you've got sensitive skin, I would highly recommend checking this out because you're gonna be able to get that physical exfoliation without it being too abrasive to the skin. And it's for, this one is for normal to dry skin. It says mix with water to create a foam and then massage onto the skin for 15 seconds and rinse. Now this is definitely a sample size, definitely not the full size. The full size I think is around 60 to $68. I, yeah, I don't know if I would purchase it full size just yet, but I would repurchase this in a sample set. So I'm hoping that this winter when Sephora releases all of the brand holiday sets and kits and things like that. I'm hoping that this comes in another sample set so I can buy it. Because I don't know yet if I would purchase it full size. That's just a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. <laughs> but if you've been eyeing it and you don't mind the price, I say get it. I do. Okay, I have another Stairs Witch Hazel um, in lavender, this is my favorite toner. It's alcohol free. I think it does a really good job removing any residue that's been left over from my cleanser and I've been using that toner well over a year. It's my favorite. Highly recommend it. Then we go on to the La Roche-Posay um, Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is my go-to cleanser. I've already bought it back up and I'm already using that. This is for normal to dry skin and it's great because it's also really good for uh, sensitive skin. So it's dermatologist tested, safe for um, sensitive skin, and it gently cleanses while retaining essential moisture. I think I featured this in my June monthly favorites and oh, love it. So this cleanser does not have any of the chemicals in it that um, allows your cleanser to lather, which is going to be excellent for not stripping the skin. Because if you've noticed, cleansers that lather tend to strip the skin as well because you're taking off too much of the oils, um, the bacteria on your face that's good for you. So this particular cleanser is going to contain prebiotic thermal water. Um, it's soap-free, sulfate-free, fragrance free and it also contains ceramide 3 plus niacinamide ingredients that are excellent for the skin that aren't going to strip your skin but also leave your skin clean radiant and just great it removes makeup really well so I, I always go in with a first step cleanser to remove my makeup but this is going to remove any residue that my first step cleanser um, left behind cannot rave enough about this. I get mine from CVS. You guys know I love CVS because I can use coupons. So this retails for $14.99, but catch me on a good coupon day, your girl can get it for like nothing. This is my favorite body moisturizer. So I, this is the Nivea Essentially Rich um, Deep Moisture Serum for dry to very dry skin. Like I said, my legs feel like scales sometimes, and this is the only moisturizer that I've tried that literally by the end of the day, I don't feel like I have scales. I use this in the summer, winter, fall, spring, year round. I love the scent of it. It just, oh, it just smells so good. Oh, got like the tiniest bit left. Love the smell of it. It is, it does have more of a, it is a little greasy, but I feel like it blends into the skin 
pretty quickly. Um, I like, this is the one that has almond oil because they do have one in a bottle that looks like this, but it's not essentially enriched almond oil. That was the lotion that stopped me from using Vaseline. I used to use Vaseline. Now, that never, never failed me, but who wants to use Vaseline in the summer? Right? Right. Here is the Palmer's Coconut Butter Formula. Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil with Vitamin E. This is supposed to deep clean and brighten, remove makeup and impurities, and this is the Rose Hip Fragrance. Um, this was, I was using this to remove my makeup and I love this stuff. This is such a good cleansing oil. So when I want to remove my makeup, I'm going to go in with either a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. And if it's not this one, it's another one that you'll see in here. But this did such a great job of just removing the makeup off my face. It removed eyeliner very well, mascara. Um, if I was wearing false lashes, it would remove the uh, glue so that I could easily take my false lashes off. And my skin was left feeling so soft and supple because we have vitamin E in it, which I use every night. It also has grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, and rose hip oils and vitamin C oils. So you've got tons of great oils in this cleanser that's gonna leave the skin looking very soft and radiant after you've taken your makeup off. Doesn't strip the skin, but it also did not break my skin out. This is dermatologist tested and it's for all skin types. So if you're looking for a good cleansing oil that's not gonna break the bank, highly recommend this one. Got a couple of makeup products for you. I have an unlimited uh, mascara by L'Oreal. This is my favorite mascara right now, so I already bought a backup of that. And then I have two CoverGirl um, Ultra Fine Brow Pencils in the shade Soft Brown. I've been using these brow pencils, my gosh, maybe all of this year. Um, I mean, it's just favorite, favorite brow pencil of all time. So the cleansing balm that I'm using now is the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Match 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm, or the Perfect Matcha. Matcha? Matcha? Okay, it's this one right here. I love this, love it, love it. So I've already repurchased this. This reminds me of the Pharmacy Green Cleansing Balm. I would go to say that it's not a perfect dupe, but it's a really, really, really close alternative. So I really enjoyed the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm, but I was not down for paying $32 for the cleansing balm, especially because I wear makeup pretty much every day, so I'm going through cleansing balms and cleansing oils very quickly. This is $14.99 at CVS, and of course, if you get yourself a coupon, you can get it for much cheaper, and I love the way it just melts the makeup off my skin. Um, it's going to, it's marketed for all skin types, so melts the makeup off my skin, like I said, it takes off eyeliner, mascara, glue from false lashes very well, and it really does clean the skin. So this is another 3-in-1 that's supposed to clean the skin. Um, melt off makeup and it'll, it'll leave the skin fully supple and hydrated and I would agree with all the claims. After I use this, I really, if it really like took off all my makeup completely, I wouldn't even go in with another cleanser. But it doesn't, um, but it does take off a really good amount of my makeup. And then like I said, it leaves my skin really soft, not stripped, um, I don't break out from that, doesn't irritate my skin, highly recommend it. Here is an old hyaluronic acid that I had from Asterwood. This was actually the first HA that I ever used. It's kind of sentimental to me. And um, it's really good. I bought this off of Amazon. And I used this hyaluronic acid for almost a full year before I tried anything else. So I would recommend it if you were looking for a hyaluronic acid. I use that in my skincare routine every day. Don't miss a day um, because if you don't know anything about that particular type of chemical, it's already within our skin. It's not a chemical, it's an actual component that's within our skin. It's the component within our skin that allows us our skin to absorb water, retain water so that our, our skin looks plump and youthful and hydrated. So if you notice, a lot of the skincare products that I purchase have HA in it because I want my skin to look plump and youthful and not dry and scaly and ashy because I don't know why you want that. Okay, here is the Volition Strawberry C Vitamin C Serum. And y'all, this Vitamin C Serum highly rivals the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. 
um, so much to the point yet that I've run out of both and I can't figure out which one I want to buy. I'm leaning toward repurchasing the Volition one just because it is more affordable. The Volition Vitamin C Serum is $42 and then the uh, Drunk Elephant Safe C Firm a Day Serum is $80. So um, in terms of price point, I say go with the Volition one because it works so good. So I didn't know this, but strawberries have way more vitamin C than your oranges do. So I noticed within a couple weeks of using the Volition Vitamin C Serum that my skin looked brighter. My skin, I felt, was able to turn over faster. So if I had acne breakouts, pimples and things like that, they were going away a lot quicker. And the only reason why I just haven't repurchased it yet is because I've just been spending my money elsewhere. But trust and believe, I will be repurchasing that one very soon because I'm using another vitamin C serum and my skin is not looking the way that I want it to look and I know it's because the vitamin C serum that I'm using now is it's good it's just not as good um, <clears throat> highly recommend that one alrighty I used up a deluxe size of the Fursali skin to blur primer I really enjoyed this um, it left my skin just looking really nice and soft and it felt good um, putting it onto my skin. I used it by adding it right before my foundation and I just feel like it left my skin with a nice um, smooth canvas to apply makeup on top. My only gripe with this is that it's so messy. So you get all that thick residue of the primer in it. The primer is gone, like there's none left in the bottle, but even when there was some left, when you would go to squeeze it and pull up the product, sometimes you wouldn't get a lot, and like I said, it was just really messy. Um, but would I repurchase this? Yes, I would repurchase this, and I probably will repurchase this um, when Sephora has another sale. I might get it before, then it just depends on how I'm feeling, but I would repurchase that because it was really nice. Okay, Hyaluronic Acid by L'Oreal. So this is the L'Oreal Re Revitalift 1.5% Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I use this serum, oof. I use this one, I might have been using this one all of this year until a couple months ago. This is really, really, really good. Um, once again, like I said before, HA is going to plump the skin, leave it nice and hydrating. This particular one also has, I want to say this also has vitamin E in it. I have to look it up, um, but it's so, it's, it's much thicker than this Asterwood one, which is why I liked this one over the Aster, Asterwood one. And when I say thick, not thick to where it's not going to absorb into the skin, but you feel like your skin is immediately plump once you put it on. That's what I mean by the thickness of it. Um, so I really, really recommend this. Um, just a couple more products and then we're done. So I have here the Peter Thomas Roth Potent Vitamin Power Serum. Um, I have a sample, or I got a sample of this as a 100 point perk from Sephora. And I thought this was okay. The biggest issue that I had with this was I didn't really have time to see how well this worked with my skin because this sample literally only lasted me a couple weeks. And if you know anything about skincare, you need to try a skincare product at least a month to notice any types of changes. I believe the full size of this is $95. And so this might be a really, really good vitamin C serum, but I, I just don't feel like I had enough time to really decide if it was good enough or not. And for $95, I'm not going to buy the full size when I know there's another vitamin C serum that I really like that's cheaper than that. Even the Drunk Elephant is a little bit cheaper. So I have another deluxe sample by Sephora. This is the actual Sephora line um, All Day Hydrator, which is a moisturizer. and. I really liked this. I actually contemplated buying the full size of this because I think the full size is only $16 and I really felt like it hydrated my skin, left it with like a nice uh, subtle glow and um, my face didn't break out or anything at all. The only reason why I didn't buy this full size is like I said I wanted an SPF in my moisturizer so that doesn't have a moisturizer. Um, so that's why I didn't buy a full size. But I'm, I'm not going to say that I won't. I just haven't. But I really, really enjoyed it. And then the last product that I have that's in my trash can is this Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial Exfoliator. Um, so this is more like a facial mask. 
and it has 25% AHAs and 2% BHAs. If you're not familiar with what AHAs and BHAs are, they are chemical exfoliators, and I love chemical exfoliators. This mask really does leave the skin baby soft. That's why it's called baby facial. So um, what you do is you do your, uh, you wash your face and then you put this on your face, let it sit for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off. And when you rinse it off, your skin is so soft. Now, if you've never used a um, chemical exfoliator before, then leaving this on your skin for 20 minutes might be a bit too much. So when I put it on, because I use a AHAs and BHAs every night with my nighttime serum, my skin is used to the chemicals. And so the nights that I use this, I don't use my night serum because you don't want to add too much in one night. So I'll put this on and I do feel a tingly sensation. Um, so if you're using this for the first time, if you feel like the tingling sensation is a bit too much, then I would suggest you know leaving it on for a less amount of time and working your way up to the 20 minutes. I used this, did I use this last night? No, I used this Saturday night and I had this on maybe two hours <laughs> um, but it didn't irritate my skin my skin didn't break out from it and it's so good drunk elephant suggests using this one time a week um, because it is pretty potent so you don't want to use it more than one time a week um, but it is so good the full size because this is not a full size that is a deluxe size the full size is I want to say $60 but I tend to buy the drunk elephant deluxe sample kits so I already have another one of these from another sample kit and I'll probably buy another sample kit so I can keep getting the other ones because those are I feel the sample kits are a great way to get better deals on the products and save yourself a little bit of a coin because if you know anything about Drunk Elephant their um, their products are expensive but they are so worth it so that's it I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you are able to take away some ideas for some future skincare products for you to purchase because most of this was skincare I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video bye guys